Now, at the hot day, we just happened to have another vehicle come in with this very similar problem. Now, in the first case, the air conditioning was working right, except when you would accelerate and go up a hill, you would lose your flow out the vents in Florida, default to defrost only. Now, in this case, that's all we have is defrost at all times. You can't change from the vent to the floor. Now, it's still a vacuum-controlled system, so since we're default, defaulting to defrost at all times, my suspicion is not whether or not it's the canister holding vacuum or the check valve leaking. It's whether or not we actually even have vacuum there to make the control valve work. So what we're going to first do is go inside here. I've got it lit up where we can take the camera and show you what we're going to do. This is your heat selector control module, and it's vacuum, of course. And it comes out of the dashboard right here. Now in order to gain access to this, when we have to kind of take it out so we can reach down inside there. Now you can see the check valve down inside there. It's located right there. Now that check valve is a one-way valve. It's plugged into the feed line, which is drawing vacuum from the intake. And it comes up here, travels up to this color line, goes into the back of the module. So the well, first thing I want to know on this one is whether or not I have vacuum. So I'm going to pull that check valve out and see if I have vacuum on the input side of it. So if you look down inside there, you can see my check valve is hanging loose over here to the side. Taking that out of that line and I have my vacuum line now plugged into that line. We're going to start the vehicle and see what our vacuum looks like. So we're reading zero vacuum. We're going to start the truck. As you can see, I'm only reading about three and a half, four pounds vacuum. That's not enough to operate this controller. And it bleeds off. So this controller here needs vacuum to operate and it's only got about three or four pounds of vacuum. So my problem lies somewhere where I am tapped in there and my vacuum line going in here. So I need to pull my vacuum line out there and insert my smoke machine and smoke it from there forward. So I'm going to pull my vacuum line out. Now I'm going to get my smoke tip and insert the smoke tip into the same place down there. So I have my smoke tip inserted and if you can notice right here these vacuum lines go immediately forward. They go under some of the ductwork and then they go out through the firewall into the engine compartment. So when I turn on my smoke machine I'm going to go out there and look for the smoke. Now we're out underneath the hood and coming from the firewall you can see right here is where the vacuum lines come through the firewall. They wrap around here, go to different valves. They go down to the vacuum reservoir. Now I've got my smoke line on the inside coming this way because my vacuum source would be here. So I want to know from, from there this way, where am I losing my vacuum? Now my smoke, I can turn it on right here. So we're going to turn it on and start watching for smoke. Now I have found that sometimes that smoke's a little bit hard to see unless you have a bright light like this. We just kind of watch around down here. Now we can see some smoke coming from over here. Well, we've got smoke there. Let's see if we can kind of zero in on that a little bit. Looks like it might be from this back line back here. And sure enough, right in here, you can see the smoke coming out right through that break in that vacuum line. Now this vacuum line is coming from the intake, so my control is not getting vacuum. I'm going to cut that, splice that together, repair that, and then see if the system works. So we're going to snip that, cut the bad section out, put in a piece of vacuum line, Now we're going to go back around to the front and see if we got vacuum now. So I'm going to take my smoke lead out of here. Take my vacuum gauge again. 
So we're plugged right back into the same vacuum line we were before. So this is intake vacuum. We start the truck. Now we're reading normal vacuum where before we were only reading about three or four pounds. I hooked my vacuum line back up. I've got good vacuum. And now when I change the positions, I switch from the defrost to the vents to the floor. So again, a little hole in the plastic vacuum line is a problem.